Hi guys, it's Music Clues here. Hey, subscribers, it's Ethan Thin here. Uh, okay. Hopefully this time, kind of my data will get corrupt for this video. Video as it's pre-recorded, so for your guys' enjoyment during the summer. So yeah. I uh, believe this is like our third time recording, unfortunately. <sighs> Okay, as soon as I get uh, get this done, I'm going to get this video up on U YouTube, so that way we don't have to worry about it. Uh, anyways, ways, this was recorded the day before my birthday, and before our big live update, which I'm going to be doing in a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, just a heads up. Uh, but anyways, today we're going to be redoing our best of all time list. Yeah, and just so you know, folks... This is during in the morning at this time. Yeah, so Ethan isn't changed into one of his usual file bum or uh, sort of online shirts. Just a heads up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to be, so the, uh, to uh, start off, we're going to go in this order. I'm going to start off, for, we're going to rock, paper, scissors, to see who goes first. Then um, whoever goes first will go up to number 20. Uh, tw uh, 25 on the list, and we're going to switch off. Then the other person will go from 20, uh, from 30 to 25, uh, for 25, and then 25 to 20, and then the last person will finish off, off the last four that they have. So that's the way it will go. Um, and by that, since there's 30, that means me and Ethan have 10 extra bonuses. Uh, there's 20 individual ones on the top of the list, which are view ones, but we added 10 extra for you guys to enjoy. So, all right. So, rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Yep. Got you. Third time in a row, he's beaten. All right, Mr. Mr. Confident. Let's see. Let's see that list of yours. But do not pick when I say these things. I won't. I won't. All right. So anyway, number thirty. Let's just say, I'll give you guys a guess. Okay. So anyway, just so you know, top number thirty is is like actually a game that. It's a recently that I actually like as a fighting game for the PlayStation 4. And let's just say it's Sundu if you can bowl. So I'll give you five seconds. Eh, you're done. Okay, let me take a guess. Is it Street Fighter 4? Eh, nope. Mm. One more, because this is one of the most obvious games. Well, for musical though. Tekken six. <laughs> no, you got the main right, but is it six? No, it's Tekken seven. Okay, so I was off by a number. All right, so Tekken 7. Why do you like that game so much, buddy? Well, it's due to the fact that I like it has, like, a Tekken Bowl in there. And, of course, the pins. Oh, man. It has the Hachi pins are kind of a little bit more easier than the normal pins, in my opinion. And also, I do like the fact that you put more characters as DLC. Like, well, Nauseous. I mean, first thing I was, like, knowing this character, I was like, who is he? So I tried him out, and I was like, hmm, he's really good. But to the point, he's feel a little funky, his moves are. But rest of it, it's like, it's an improved Tekken game. So. And the combos are actually very easy in the game. Easier than any Tekken game, and Ethan's played a lot of those. Yup. And also, if you're wondering what a Tekken bowl came from, from the Tekken series, it came from Tekken Tag Tournament 1, not 2, 1. In other words... He's got it into the collection. I, I actually, I actually used, I actually own this game. I, I actually own this game. That was during the time I used to own the PlayStation 2. Yep. And let's just say, if you want Ethan's quick opinion on it, mm, I say it's really good. But the Tekken Boy I played is way improved. Yeah. Unlike 
tag tournament. Two. Yeah. Uh, but that's our story for another day. Okay, so next one on your list. Number 29. And just so you know, just to give you a heads up, folks, this one right here is actually the recent game I have been played almost for two weeks. Well, actually, one. I think it was one week, or actually. Scratch that. One week. And so, and also, and that's the current game I own. How is the old on? Mm, not surprised you got it right. <laughs> Considering I just tried it yesterday, I would figure, and you said you've been playing it for a week, so, duh. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, like, hey, you haven't beat this game yet. Hey, 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 calm down. I'm actually getting close to beating the game as a fact. As of this recording. So, I can actually count this one. Unfortunately. Uh, but yes, Ethan has... E Ethan uh, has been raving about this game and tell him why you like it so much. Okay, I'll tell you why. Uh, let's just say I've been dying to play this game. Or let's just say one time I had to try it with my friend, friend's um, wedding, you could say. Um, let's just say I tried the game and I was like, ooh, that's one heck of a beautiful game. Let's say the combat system is so beautiful, it's so much easy. And also you can use your, use your bow and also... It's so cool if you actually, you actually, like, you feel like you're hunting, um, like a beast, or you're hunting, like, a robot monsters. Oh, man, it's so cool. And I hate to say this, but it's sadly easier than Buff of the Wild. Ooh, unfortunately. Sorry, Nintendo. No offense. Me and Ethan still love it. But we gotta be honest with ourselves. It's not the entirely best game. Yeah, not the best, entirely the best game in our opinions, but it may be for the movie for the Legends of the fans, but not to these, to us. Yeah, <laughs> so, sorry. But that's just, be, that's just us. Uh, that doesn't mean that we can improve, though. <laughs> Alright, so next game on your list. Alright, number 28 is something to do with that well, it's on a 3 disc game, and also, it's actually a Screen X game, and as a fact, it's not Final Fantasy. Blame the Default. <laughs> Gave it away. Yeah, but hey, at least it's just for the fans. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, buddy. I'll try to make mine, mine a little less obvious than that so the fans will have a harder time to guess, and you too. But... Anyways, I figured it'd be Bravely Default. I mean, it's not Bravely Second, so what else? I mean, there's Final Fantasy Explorers, but... Well, to be honest with you, I did try a Final Fantasy game that was 15, and obviously you think it's good, but I ain't... But just so you know, if you guys are curious if that's in the list, no. Sadly. It, this list only consists of games we've either beaten halfway through or have completely beaten. So we really can't... Can't count anything that we've only just started. Exactly. All right. Right. So, why do you like that game so much? Let's just say the soundtrack to itself is just like, oh, beautiful. Some battle themes are like beautiful as heck. I just remember the first time I watched on YouTube. That was when there was like a like a Final Awakening uh, special quest. You could say it's it's hard to remember this. But I do know there was one soundtrack that I was like, this soundtrack sounds beautiful. Where did it came from? And I was looking, I was like, oh, it came from this game. So I tried the game out, and I was like, oh, man, the combat system is just so cool. And you can do all those dial in those characters. It's been a while I played the game, but I'd say that is one of the good games out there. And Ethan almost beat the whole thing. And get ready for this. One day. Oh. One day single day. He almost had it I got it from the library. Unfortunately, the day he p uh, played it, I had had to go back. Ah! <laughs> so close, too. He would have been able to uh, tag down one of his beaten VDS games if he hadn't. So, he, uh, if he ever wants to be before he uh, chases his VDS, VDS for good at some point, I would highly recommend you do it so soon, bud. So that way, you can finally say you beat it. Exactly. Alright. Next one on the list. 
That'll be okay, number twenty-seven. All right, that's just for the folks over there. Got it. All right, so those of you who are curious that this this top number twenty-seven is something with a game that just came out since the first first month, and it's a fighting game. And how I put a one more hint. Mm, let's just say it's by Axe System Works game. So. Let's say it's like an anime-ish game, you could say. That's all I could say. If we give any more hints, it will give it away. So that's all I could say. So I'll give you five seconds. Time's up! Eh. Alright, the answer I got here for Top 27 is... Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Not... Completely surprised. Well, for you, obviously. Uh, but why do you like Dragon Ball Z Fighter so much? Oh, I gotta say, the story was like pretty good, pretty good. In his opinion, it's the only one that ties Street Fighter, considering you know, all the other stories we played for games so far. Fighting games in the last two years have been. <laughs> what are you even taking of that matter? Sadly. But as a fact, that the combat system was just so beautiful. It's like it's like an anime. It's like from anime from Dragon Ball for some reason. And there's even references to some famous Dragon Ball fights. Or even like it's a it's a Easter egg mod you could say. Let's just say that. But those Easter egg mods are like ooh, they remind me from the classic times from from Dragon Ball. And I also also I did watch some Dragon Ball classics before that was like Dragon Ball Z Kai and that's the that's the review just to review the story that kind of makes sense why a lot of people are like uh, dislike it oh and also also don't forget just recently Dragon Ball Super finished up and why why leave us on the cliffhanger ah and then we finished I was like hmm I guess I ended up just fine then and that was like before that final episode. We go no. <laughs> that that story will come for another time. Yeah, that's a discussion for another video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's probably why he likes it. All right, last one before we switch off. All right, let's see. We got to twenty six, and then we gotta go to twenty nine. All right, number twenty six is it's something to do with a game that it does have you out there gonna know this this game is from the PlayStation 2 exclusive but there's another thing it's by Rainbow Studios and that's one of those games that you can actually ride on the t on the dirt uh, dirt dirt roads and oh yeah that's all you can say and there's only two series I'm pretty sure a lot of you PlayStation fans know that I would mean by Rainbow Studios studios can't say the names but you know, know him if you've been a racing fan. And Musical Story knows it because I told him that many times. So I'm just letting you guys guess it out, sadly. All right. Five seconds. I'll wait until it gets to 20. <sighs> it's this. Got it. Sorry, guys. We didn't mean to do that to you. We didn't mean that. <laughs> Apologies. Watch with that next time. <laughs> That's for the kids watching it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, forget, forget that. Forget that, guys. Sorry, my apologies. All right. Anyways, time's up either way. All right. Anyway, so we got is the game that is called ATV Off Road Fury. That's my top number twenty six. The reason why I like this game, well, actually, I did try MX vs. ATV all out, and I was like, ugh, not even the best. And this story here, however, it's actually much easier than the, when you play MX vs. ATV series, in my opinion. Well, due to the fact that the controls of the game is actually much more easier to control than was MX vs. ATV. That's why I'm, the way my point of view is. Hey, that's understandable, buddy. Everybody has their own opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's pretty, pretty cool, cool to think. All right, your last one before we go off to me. All right, top 25. 
This game is actually one of those sports games I actually like the most. But then, that the first time, Musicals was like, I don't like it, I don't like it, and I don't like it. And now, surprisingly, he likes it. I have a very good feeling about this one. But, let the fans guess. Got it. Let me do it this time. Got it. Time's up! Alright, the game I'm about to give out to you, my top 25, is... Mario Strikers Charged. That should not be a surprise, considering there's a walkthrough on the channel. Hint, hint, not advertising. You should go, totally go check it out. Lit cards right uh, over there. Uh, I mean, over there. <laughs> uh, anyways, why do you like it so much? Oh, the way I control it, it's like, you can do more specials in the game. And also, as you guys notice, if I if you see me doing the walkthrough of that game, I played as Yoshi. Uh, Eva really likes this interest animation. Yoshi's amazing in that game. I mean, Mario's good too, but his special shots are kind of like... Pretty bitter. Okay, the special shots are good. I just mean like the specials, like they do like... Mario does like... Vroom! Stump, stump, stump. But Yoshi does like... Rolls around all over the enemies. I like the Yoshi one better. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ifa especially likes using the t tongue move on uh, some of the enemies. Like this. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> uh, I like his entrance animation too when he goes. <sighs> also, you can rent, and also, you can knock off enemies off of the, off of the ring. Um, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's so fun. If you want to check out Ethan's walkthrough of that, like I said, uh, please click the card, card that I showed you earlier, and it'll lead you right to it. And I should say that it is no commentary. Yep, and another thing, guys, another thing. If those of you are hoping for another Mario Strikers series coming to the Switch, the latest one, well, let's cross our fingers. Please make it happen, because you know why? I'm dying for another one for some reason. Same here. I won't lie. Oh, and while you're on Nintendo, do Super Sluggers too, please. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So look away, bud. My turn. What we'll the fans get for this one? Uh. All right. Yeah. For this first first two, I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm gonna let the fans guess, and then for the rest, I'm gonna have you try to guess. All right. All right. So. And this one is going to stump them for sure. This first one has something to do with a game that you had to rescue an animal as a certain person that's old. Oh. I have a feeling this one is. But this is Muse Goose's third, top 30. Yep. This is his third, 30 number. All right. I'll let you guys guess in five seconds. Go ahead, bud. Time's up! The answer is Super Glammy! Yes, there is a series called Super Glammy. I'm not lying, you can even look it up. But I am a big fan of this series. I grew up playing it a lot when I was a kid on PC. It's one of my fa favorite PC games of all time, if I'm being honest. Uh, but yeah, I beat the first one all the way through. Oh my gosh, was that final level heavy. <laughs> I swear to death, it gave me so much str struggle. I'm going to wage quit. That was probably only like one level I'm never going to forget for the rest of my life. Yeah, Ebusus did tell me about the game a couple times, and actually I did see the gameplay of it when he records the game. Alright, number 29. Now this one's really going to stop you guys, unless you've been keeping up with mobile games. <laughs> this one has something to do do with a game that you bowl. And it features a polar bear, a penguin, and a wallace. This, I won't be that surprised, but for you guys, you'll have to find out. Alright. Five seconds. And 
Time's up. The answer is Polo Bowler. As a fact, I actually saw the game and it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, uh, it's a simple game. All you gotta do is ball, but you can get power ups to help you get strikes and stuff. So it's a very fun game, and I used to play it a lot with my family and my dad and my mom, mom and everybody when I was a kid. So it's a personal uh, favorite memory of mine. All right, look away. Okay, mister, let's see how good you know, know me without the 3DS. That'll be top 27. Yep. Okay, so this game is something to do with Miku. Oh, I have a feeling this one is. I'll give you. I have a feeling about this one. All right, I'll give you three, three games in specifics. It's either Project Diva Muro, Project Diva X, or Pro Project Diva Future Tone. Which one is it? I think it's the first one you just mentioned. Darn it! Told you not to estimate me. <laughs> yeah. I was just joking around. Uh, so, where we know his top 27 is, folks. Pachet, uh, is, uh, Miku Pachet D uh, Diva Milo. Yes, I actually got into Miku thanks to that game, so... <laughs> uh, thank you, Sega, for getting me into it. But it's not a bad game. The living game is not hard, and you get to interact with Miku and all of her, all of her friends, like Ren, Ren, Lin, and all the other characters. So it's pretty. A, it's a pretty fun game. Just a little bit hard with some of the songs, is all. My favorite song from that game is Finder. Uh, the remix version, obviously. Uh, the original Finder, I'm kind of eh on, but the remix for sure, I love. Uh, anyways, to continue on, um, so yeah, pa Patrick Miller, great game, check it out if you're interested in the Miku series. Uh, alright, look away. Ooh, okay buddy, this one's gonna stump ya. Um, I guess it's, it's something to do with it has changed. Nope, it hasn't changed, but I'm giving you a harder hints. Alright, so this first, so this one's a tie. So the, this is his top 26. Yep. This one's a tie between two indie games. One has to do with... Mm, I should give you a hint. Someone someone who has to steal the shovel. I have a feeling this one is. Yeah, all right. Take a guess. Shovel Knight. <laughs> you just gave away the shovel part. Oh, there's another one? I know there was another one, guys. And there's another one. Wait a minute. What if that there's one game that is... I don't know. I should count this as Indie 2, guys. It is a way for... Way for... Uh, it develops this one certain game that I thought, but at the same time, I don't know. Should I count this Indie or not? You better wait until I give you the hit. All right? This person... Ha this uh, next game that's tied with it has something to do with hmm, something magical. Mm, magical, okay. Yeah, so I'm sort of on the right track. A little bit. A little bit. I'll take it away anyway, but I bet you I don't know I'm right, but we'll try anyway. We'll try. Something to do with Shiante. Yes, but which game? Pilot's Curse, Half Genie Hero, Risky's Revenge, or the original? Mm, I figure you will not like the original. I figure you will not like the original the most. Uh, I get to you, you like the most modern days ones. Alright, so at least three left. I'll give you two guesses out of these three. My guess is Shiante's Pirate's Curse. Wrong! Da, 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 da. Oops. Don't show that finger again. Sorry. <laughs> Try not to. Okay. And I'll oh, just make it like this. Hey. All right. Uh, two guesses left. That'll be Shiante's half G hero. Don't, don't get that smack on your face. 
Okay, you got me on both. Okay, so Shovel Knight and have, uh, Shantae have Genie Hero. Uh, Shovel Knight is definitely one of my favorite favorite uh, eight bit platformers. And just so you guys know, I don't normally like eight bit platformers, so this is a very big thing. Uh, it's a very easy game to get used to. We'll say. Darn you, Spectre Knight! Darn you, darn you, and darn you, Spectre Knight! That one was just hard for me and Ethan when we played together. Yeah, and that, the developers who created Show Knight was actually, starts with a Y and you. Yeah, know. Yacht Club Games. Yeah. Uh, those guys are very good devel developers for this series. Uh, so, I've been personally very, very excited that I came to the Switch, and I got to play it again. Well, I own it. Huh? Hang on, guys! Be right back. All right, let's talk it over, folks. Yeah, so anyway, what we're talking is that the show night, well, I guess you could say the first show night was, was this top 20, 26, or even Shiante, the uh, the half genie hero. So, hey, I can see why he likes those games. Show night, personally, I like better. Shiante was like, mm, I gotta try them. I don't know yet, so there you go. Okay, so yeah, uh, Shovel Knight I personally do love, and Shantae, Half Genie Hero. A lot of people seem to not like this one as much. I, I'm not with them on that one. I kind of like it a little bit more than the other ones. Like I said, I'm a little bit touchy on my plat uh, pixel platformers, so. <laughs> uh, but I love ha Half Genie Hero because of the music and the gameplay. Plays a little bit tough, but... Not that I can't ha yeah. ha handle, and uh, my favorite song from that one is Dancing Through the Danger, which is the main theme to Shantae. And a little known fact, uh, uh, the voice actor has actually voiced act as Lucina in the past as well, 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 who also sung Dancing Through the Danger, the main theme, and is the current voice of Shantae. Makes sense. So, if you find more fans are familiar with Lucina, she's the same voice actor. It I know who she is, so just say. If those of you are curious, you go, who is this? I know who it is. It's done to do with Al. It's Lana Bailey, I think. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, well, uh, Christina Val has also voiced for Lucina as well, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I think, think they both voiced for Lucina at one point or the other. Uh, regardless, though, though um, the, either way, those two games are great games, so be sure to check them out. All right, 25, and then I go all the way to 20, and Ethan will finish off with his last four for this point. All right, look away, and let me see what More. the... Uh, let me see. Ooh, okay, I'm really going to make, make sure I stump you. Okay, so this one has something to do with a game that came out last year for Switch. Uh, and it was one of the big games. I can't tell you which one because that would be too obvious. That's all I'm giving you. I'll give you three guesses. Hmm. Okay, I already know it's a Switch game. It is, it's become a big game. There is one thing I could say that is... Do you want me to just show off the cases? Actually, I have something in mind I'm going to guess. Something in mind I'm about to say this one already. And it's something to do with the Mario game. And it's something to do with that. It's Super Mario Odyssey. That's sneezy. <sighs> How'd you guess that one? Was that I guess the one without even a smidge or a hint? Problem is, you said it's one of the big games. That's how it gave away. Yeah, I thought you were a guest left of the wild too, but I got nah. No, 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 no. I can see you. You said yourself. You go. I'm not a huge big fan of open world as Mario. That's what I figured. Eh, don't make how to do new thinking. Uh, yeah, that's how I knew. All right, but yeah, Super Mario Odyssey. It's personally one of the best Mario games, but it's this is one of the biggest flaws. It's way too easy. You hear me? Way too easy. Yes, Nintendo. I understand that this was supposed to be a good game. But seriously, it's more easy easy than 3D World. And 3D World was sort of easy. Yeah, even Super Mario Galaxy was harder than this. You better uh, step it up for the next game, Nintendo. Because seriously, I felt like I, I felt like you rushed it. No offense. Uh, but 
Uh, yes. Other than that, Odyssey is a great game, especially Jump Up Super, Jump Up Superstar. <laughs> Sorry. Song's way too catchy. Uh, but, yeah. Um, Super Mario Odyssey, great gameplay. Uh, I love the capture mechanic especially. Um, great music and all that. Check it out if you own the Switch. It's definitely a good Mario game. Right. All right. You know what to do. Top 24. Okay. Okay, so I have to count this for now because this is before the release of a certain collection this month. I can't say the name because it would give it away. But I'll say this. It has something to do with Capcom. Mm, you know what? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, for you guys, figure that one too. All right, I'll give you five, both five seconds. Se uh, well, I'll give you guys ten seconds. And then I'll let, uh, after that, I'll let Ethan get, guess if he, if you guys don't uh, think you got it right. Alrighty then. Then, then hopefully you guys got it right if you think what you think it is. If you don't, don't, uh, then sorry. Guess you're wrong. All right, buddy, what do you think it is? It's a Capcom game. Obviously, we've been talking through this, and obviously I knew one thing I knew that it was in one certain game that was, mm, I guess you could say, it's not a Street Fighter, unfortunately. Well, you might be off on that. Well, I said, I just said, it's not, hear me? Not. That's the keyword. You didn't even maybe understand. Uh, well, I, I did say Capcom game, yes. But this game game is also something from a collection. This game is also in a collection that I haven't played, but I've only played the installment of it because it's so the only way I'll be able to play that installment in the series. Mm. So it is a Street Fighter game. but It which, is? Yep, but which game? Oh, oh okay. okay. It's... Not four, obviously. It's not five. It's Street Fighter Ultra uh, Final Challenges 2, I think. Ultra Street Fighter 2, the Final Challenges. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, the one thing I'm confused about is, you remember one time you said, one time to me, you go, I'm that game. I I understand that, but 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 that was the only way for me to play Street Fighter 2. That's why it's on the list. List. Once I get the actual Street Fighters from the uh, Street Fighter Fat Idiot Anniversary Collection, uh, then I'll remove that one from the list. Uh, but for the time being, being um, Ultra Street Fighter 2, uh, 2 the Final Challenges, or I should say just Street Fighter 2, it's not that bad of a game. I don't see why people like it the most, though. And I don't get why Capcom keeps pointing it. Seriously, guys. Guys, that's one, two, three, four, five points at this point. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, the problem is, I'm not a huge fan of it, unfortunately. But I did try it, I was like, not a huge fan of it. And the controls are much more easier than the actual Street Fighter games, unfortunately. Uh, that, that kills me to say it. Uh, but yes, he is correct. It is easier than most of the other Street Fighters. Because all you do, you see, like, if you're doing the Hurricane as Ryu, you're, um, you're a Mullen stick on the left side if you're using a Switch Pro Controller. You can actually do the Hurricane, you press some do like, a punch attack. You gotta go, like, this. It's a little bit more sensitive than it was from Xbox and PlayStation, unfortunately. That's why I say it's much easier. Yeah, the controls is one of the things I really like about the game. And obviously, I don't think I need to go into any more detail about our favorite characters, because, well, duh, I've mentioned them several times. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, Street Fighter 2 in general is a good game, but it's not as good as a lot of people think. Mm-hmm. All right. You know what to do. So, time to 23 now. Okay, buddy. This one might, may or may not be obvious to you guys, but I'm going to let the fans guess this one, one this time. But I'll just say this. It's a Sonic game that I mentioned before. Ah, uh, well, guys, I have a feeling this one is too, but... Okay, those of you who are, like, here in front of the other video, let's just say it's something to do with it. It's the most underrated and most hatred game in history of the Sonic series. Well, next to... 
I'm not in a sentence, damn it. <coughs> oh, six. <coughs> uh, but, uh, anyways, ways, so I'll give you five seconds to guess which Sonic game it is. But this time he has to say it out because I tend, I won't say anything. Mm hmm. All right, time's up. It's... This is a shocker one. Get ready. Sonic Boom, Lies of Lyric. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Those of you are like, at first you go, what? I was like that too, to be honest with you guys, after I heard the first time of our recording. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. Why do you like Sonic Boom, Lies of Lyric music clips? You're nuts, guys. You're talking to the guy who likes Style Savvy, Abby, and uh, has Blue's Clues as his logo. Local. I don't think that's any different uh, different than anybody else out there. <laughs> uh, I'm, and I'm a strange person, so hashtag deal with it. Uh, but yeah, so sign Boom Life Lyric. Lyric, I really like it, and you're probably going to hate me for this adventure, fans, but it's adventure done right to me. I don't think a lot of people are going to agree with you, man. <clears throat> There's one thing I actually, actually, I disagree with is the glitches. Oh, boy. Uh, not this argument again. <laughs> but let, let's not go and try to debate about this. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the glitches is what turns people most off and the character designs, as always. Though it is a meme by this point, so. Personally, uh, yeah, I l love it, but don't hate me, guys, please. Please, please, please. I try, I try not to bash you guys when you talk about adventure so, so much, so, and I didn't, didn't go on a rant when Forces came out, so, yeah, some of you owe me. <laughs> but yeah, but, God, so, so, seriously, uh, Sonic Boom Life Lyric is on the list. Apologies if I offended anybody, even though that's not really an offension. Okay, so this is a top 23. Top 22. Look away. Mm, okay. 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 This one's a tie between two Sonic games. One classic, one modern. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have you guess at this time. Time. Oh, I had a feeling this one is, folks. I had a hunch feeling this one. And it just came out last year, too. So this just shouldn't be too hard. Mm, okay, okay, if you're so confident, guess it. One, Sonic Media. <laughs> Two, Sonic Forces. That's his top 22, guys. See, I told you it's more obvious. <sighs> Darn it! I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done back-to-back -back Sonic games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, either way, though, yes, Sonic Media and Sonic Forces. <laughs> Me huh? Time? Be right back! Man, we gotta distract that, folks. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, so, if those of you are wondering, like, you know, the top 23, it's just a shocker, but hey, that happened to me too, but you know what? I have a game that is like that to me too. It's kind of like one game that's like, like that, but instead, also underrated opinion, the most hatred was right next to one game, but right now, okay, we're cutting this off. All right, so, yes, the reason is why it's a tie between Mania and Forces. On the one hand, Mania what is what a lot of classic fans wanted, another classic Sonic game, not like a certain other Sonic game, <coughs> Sonic 4, <coughs> uh, but, yeah, 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 oh, by the way, no offense to it, didn't mean to offend you, if you uh, because I know you really like the game. Uh, anyways, so on the one hand, it's what classic fans wanted, wanted on it, and it bought back the original Green Hill, which I am a big fan of, as you guys know. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of obvious, and then it kind of annoys Ethan, too. Uh, but, yeah, and it bought back, back a brand new, re it bought a brand new remix for Green Hill, too, for Act 2, so. Love it to death, as well as the rest of the gameplay and all that, and Studiopolis too, to in all the new stages, so I can see why people like it. On the other hand, though, Forces is what I'm more used to, because I grew up with Sonic Heroes, and then from that, then forward, I played more on Sonic games, so. Um, uh, uh, so, yeah, yeah, and I'm used to the gameplay, plus, 
custom characters. Oh, and a brand new style for Green Hill in terms of uh, music. So, yeah, can you see see that I am a big fan of a lot of stuff stuff for Green Hill Zone, especially. Here we go again. <laughs> hey, to be fair, fair, you annoy me with a certain, certain quote of another game on your list. Oh, you want to bet now? <laughs> oh, I could bet right now if you if you dare. Uh, yeah, well, uh, or should I say? <clears throat> oh no! Oh no! I am feeling it! <laughs> it feels good to do it! <laughs> As you can tell, guys, you, I'm not gonna let it say which game it's from, but if you know what I call it from, uh, you can probably guess that one annoys me to death. <laughs> okay, okay, let's move on, please. Alright, look away! This is Dumb Dumb 21, right? Yep, number 21. Um, well, well, wait, hold on. Uh, what was the other previous one? You said about Sonic Median and the uh, Forces is your top 22, I remember. Okay, so this is top 21. Alright, so this next one is a game. Oh, so it's like... Blues Clues. Uh, so, uh, as you guys know, there's several Blues Clues PC games that I have played. This, by the way. Um, it, there is Blue's Clues ABC activities, one to three activities, odd time activities, and reading time activities. For this one, it's one of those four. So I'll give you three of four guesses. Guesses to guess this one, guys. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds. Alright, the answer is Blue's Clues on Time Activities. Reason is, back then, I really loved painting draw drawings with Maki Maka in the game. I also liked making chalk drawings with Chop Girl as well. And I really loved the color mixing game that they had too in the backyard where you could play with uh, Pippa King Lou and all that, that. So that's why I like it so much. <laughs> and also the music too, of course. Uh, oh, and Owl from Recycles Town's uh, dioramas as well, so pretty cool. All right. I think next one will be top 20. Yep. Oh, wait. Hold on a second, buddy. That was top 22. This next one's top 21. Okay. My apologies, then. Okay. Okay, so re let's say the reminders. Top 23 is Sonic Media and Sonic Forces. And the top 22 was the recent blue, uh, blue, uh, blue Blue Scoots Odd Time Activities. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, but, yes. So this top 21 happens to be a 3DS game. And it has something to do with a very, 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 very underrated series. Like, we're talking, hmm, Earthbound status. Ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, I already know this one, actually. I have in my mind saying, I had a feeling this one is. All uh, right. I'm going to let, let you guess this time, then. I'll give you two guesses. It's to do with Kid Icarus Uprising. You've been on point with your 3DS games today. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right. So, yes, Kid Icarus Uprising. Great game. And it's also by Sakurai. In case you know who don't know who that is, he's the original creator of the Kirby series. And he's also helped out with... S Super Smash Bros.? That's correct. But he's well known to create those games. Exactly. Though Kirby is being handled by Hal since he left Hal. Hal had made his own company. Company Super Smash Bros., including the recent installment, while some involvement from him, him has been a big hit. Yep. Especially the last installment, so that's why people have been hyped about it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did play the game. Actually, I thought the game was actually good when I first played it. Or even some soundtracks are actually kind of good, too. But the only thing I would criticize it on is the controls. Yeah. Other than that, though, it's a very good game. 
And plus, he sort of beat it almost halfway, you could say. If that's what I understand. Yeah, I think that's about it. All right. This now is the last one. Top 20. All right. <laughs> okay, so there's... This one's another Blue's Clues game, but as you also know, there's two Blue's Clues Adventure games. Tre Blue's Treasure Hunt and Blue's Birthday Adventure. I'll give you one guess out of these two, buddy. Uh-oh. Alright, so... Let's just get this one. Remind me what that one is again. Blue's Clues uh, Birthday Adventure and Blue's Clues Treasure Hunt. My guess is... Second one. Treasure Hunt? I guess, it, I guess I'm wrong. I knew it. Actually, you are right on! <laughs> you got that one the first time. <laughs> Surprise there, bud? Well, the way I guessed, yes. But the way you said, mm, no. Wow. Yeah, but Blue's Clues Treasure Hunt. In case you don't know, that one's inspired by the Blue's, Blue's, Blue's Big Treasure Hunt special that aired on TV, TV and Nick Jr. a while back. So, well, a way while back, <laughs> I should say, since it's been a very long time since that aired. Uh, but anyways, I used to play that a lot as a kid, as a kid, and as you already saw, I posted one part on the channel for you guys to check out. Uh, uh, so, please go check it out by checking out this card right over here. Uh, yep. So, oh, yep. That's my favorite favorite game. I just really like looking for clues and all that. That that's one thing I used to do was to show all the time. So, we are looking forward to the reboot later. All right, your turn, buddy, to finish off this part. All right, top twenty-four is. This is the most obvious from you, clues, but I want to do it for you guys for this channel. So Let's... I'll let the fans guess this time because. I think you know the obvious to this one. All right, guys. Guys, let's see how good you are. Give them some hints. 24. Okay, if you wonder what that is, those of you are guessing, like, is that a Pokemon game or is it a Yu-Gi-Oh game? It's a Pokemon game. But one thing you could you actually have to understand is, if those of you kept up with me for a while, those of you are like, what is it? What is it? I'll tell you. Chill out. The only thing I'm going to say is, this is actually my first, 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 first time I play on my own. And one time, and it was actually, this time it's actually a newer generation this time. Exactly. So if you guys are curious, I'll give you up to maybe four to five generation, just to guess it out. Yes. So that me that means it's either Diving the Pearl, How Gold So Silver, Silver... Um, black, black and white, or black and white too, and we'll put platinum in there as well. So it's one of those games. Yep, just a heads up. All right, five five seconds. Times and up. And those of you already got three guesses already. Okay, the answer I gave it to you is Pokemon Black and White, the original. Yep, but unfortunately, it's a very underrated opinion as most of the fan base hates Gen uh, 5. Well, I don't know why, but I don't get their taste. Sorry, buddy. I think their taste is different, I guess. I don't get what people hate it, too. I mean, it's not that bad of a generation. I mean, I've seen worse. <coughs> Six, <coughs> seven. <coughs> yeah, so the only thing I could say about it is... There is a Civic soundtracks are actually really good. Yeah, the and battle theme especially. Yes, or even one of the surprisingly, the team team theme was much better, much better than the couple a couple of the uh, team themes, my opinion. Yeah, yeah, it definitely. <coughs> team Skull. <coughs> uh, uh, We're talking Team Plasma. Yep, Team Plasma definitely. Of course, they killed it in the Black Tomb White too. <laughs> uh, or even end steam of course if you know what that is that's how I got expi expired by this by this user name Ethan N exactly that's where it comes from Ethan N and the character yeah, and is one of the Ethan's favorite Pokemon characters so that, yep. that makes sense why he uh, he's called Ethan N <laughs> uh, but yeah 
yeah, I can understand why you like it so much. Of course, Black 2 and White 2 is also his favorites, but like I said, the music was killed in some of the uh, kill, killed in the second. The only thing I liked the most out of it was something to do with the World Championship. That was fun. Oh, I would love to do that again, Nintendo. Bring it back for 8th Gen! <laughs> or oh, Diamond and Pill, if you would. Uh, the remakes, that is. Yep. Uh, Alright, next one. Hmm. I think I'll let Musicals guess this one, too, along with you guys. Alright! Alright, it's something to do with this fun game that is one of my childhood games for Top 23, and it's a <laughs> shooting game. That's all I can give you. And it's a Playstation 2, to be easy. Uh, Call of Duty Finest Hour. Did you guess from what I'm looking at here? Buddy, buddy, I know you pretty well that there's only one game in your childhood childhood that you really, really liked, and that would be Call of Duty Finest Hour. Okay, okay. You go throw off the bats. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's how I know. No, if you would say modern day, then I would be able to. Then I'd be stumped because that would be either Overwatch or Splatoon. But nope, nope. It's a. It's definitely Call of Duty Fire Star. All right, let me show you the cover of it because you guys need to know what the cover is. Because sooner or later on, if you're curious what the game is, look it up on YouTube. You'll see the game because. And those of you go, what is this game? Unfortunately, this was made back in what I would call Call of Duty's earliest days. Before all the Black Ops and all that stuff came. And before Infinite War Trash and WW Trash. That's the game. That's my top 20... Uh, what was it again? Oh. Sorry. It's top 23. I didn't see any, anything, but... Okay. Hopefully not. <laughs> I did it, I swear. All right, anyway, anyway. Uh, okay, the reason why I like this game because the way I actually first played the Call of Duty game, I say, oh, man, there's a character stories in there. One was something to do with a private character that is from Russian, takes down Germany. So mostly you're facing Germany all the way through, basically. And plus, the game gameplay was just fantastic. Uh, back to those old times. <sighs> Not surprised you said that. <laughs> or even I like the one like he actually go on the tanks and take down anyone comes your way. I like that one too. And also, there is one thing I actually really like the most was the one with like there was this one character named Tathania. I remember she's actually a sniper. She has a unique sniper rifle. I like you, you you can say if you watch the gameplay on YouTube. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yes, defi definitely. Definitely. Now, if you're wondering, for those who are new to the channel and also play PlayStation, if Ethan's into the series now, sadly, that's a no. Well, that's the story for another day. Yeah, that's the story for another day. If you want to hear the story for another day, that's definitely the definitely time to do it. Maybe during our worst of all time, we can explain that. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. For now, now, that's Ethan's top 23. Three. Three. All right, top 22. And this one, you would probably know this by this point. All right, in that case, it's up to you guys to figure out what it is. Top 22 is, it's something to do with another, another PlayStation 2 classic game. And it's something to do with a Star Wars game this time. And it that's, uh, how do you put this? All right, I guess I gave you just little sense because... Musicals already know that I'm yes. That's right. But I can't stay, stay, uh, but you think I'm staying too much either because I have a feeling I know what this is. Alright, so anyway, I'll give you a couple installments I knew. I'll give you those. Either you got is Star Wars Battlefront 1, Star Wars Battlefront 2, not EA related. By no, the don't, way. don't think that way, guys. The other one is Star, uh, Star, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. And the fourth is Star Wars Starfighter. Put a number in the comment below and guess what it is. Mm. Time's up! Alright, I give you this one. The, the, the top 22 is Star Wars Starfighter. If you guys get Battlefoot 1 or 2, hey... 
Don't blame you. That would have been my guess too. All right, let me let me show you this first, so you guys know the image looks like. Not not the actual, you know, it's not the actual gameplay. I just want to show you the cover looks like because so you see what I'm talking about. Just because you guys will go, what is this game? I know. I'll be like that with all other games. Trust me. Oh, speaking of Star Wars, why well, Ethan's getting that up, uh, if you guys have been itching to play Star, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, the classics, uh, you can, uh, they're now available to, uh, to buy on Xbox One. And if you own the original disc, just slide that puppy into Xbox One, install, and enjoy. We're ready to go. Alright. This is the cover for Top 22. That's the game. This is one of the classic games I used to play in. Oh, man. I remember I tried to complete 100% one time. Actually, I thought I was able to do it a couple couple games. I was able to co I was able to, like, almost get 1% if I remember correctly. It's been way, 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 way long time ago when I was a kid. So, and my memory was kind of like, uh, it's been a while. I know if I completed a game before. I actually did, if I remember correctly. Let's say the game of it, it was like fantastic. You can actually play three characters. Also, the one you just saw, the one you saw right there is a, is a main character name. Ray, it's it's like R-H-Y. Ray, I, I can't even say it's right. If you could give us the pronunciation in the comments below, that would help. Yeah, if you watch the gameplay, that game is one of the good games out there I liked. <laughs> and I used to play like a couple times, I read it correctly. Yeah. Ethan also played the classic Battlefoot 1 and 2. Is that on your list? Because Ethan did change a couple games around. That, you'll find out. Ah, 2 or 3? Mmm. Like I already told you, you'll find out. Obviously, guys, don't think it's EA. <laughs> yeah, it's Lucas on us, not EA. Battlefront 1 and 2, Reef has got his opinions on already. <laughs> of course, the only one I like is Star Wars Battlefront 1 from EA, but that's that's the whole point. Yep. All right. All right, next game on that list. 21. All right, this one here that... Ah, these guys already know this one. All right, up to you guys. Unfortunately, this is, I found out, this is the most underrated, underrated, underrated Tekken game that I disagree with. Mm. That's all I can give you. Ooh, that's tough. All right, five seconds. Mm. Get it away, bud. It's Tekken 5. The one thing I'm bugged about is, how come these people like four, then five? Doesn't make any sense. Of course, maybe some people think. So one of them to me said like, said like, hey, if you don't like four, then must you not play the classics before? Well, what's it? What is it to do with this? Uh, you're talking to the wrong guy. Ethan has played classics. I did play three. Obviously, not one and two. He's got me on that one. One of them got me on that one. But the fourth one, the only thing that actually kind of made me go, mm, and that final boss is kind of, it's just too, too, Disappointing. Too. Yeah. Another thing, disappointing is, it's generic. It's so generic. How it generic we're talking? We're talking, uh, let me see, Bowser generic? And I am cool. I never thought you scooped that low. Yeah, I thought I thought there was one character named Mihachi. I thought he was generic to me, guys. Now, that doesn't mean Ethan doesn't like Hiachi. Just for that game in specifics, it just felt like a copy-paste. It's probably a copy-paste from the classics. It's probably what that is. But that's the one thing that bugs me. The reason why I like Tekken 5 on this list because... Well, the customization with the with the with the costumes, that's cool. Also, there was like few modes in the game, it was pretty kinda cool. And also the arcade was amazing. And plus the final boss, ooh, surprisingly intense, but fun. 
That's that's good to hear. Uh, Ethan wants to try Tekken 6. Uh, it is available on Xbox One backwards compatibility, so eventually Ethan will get an opinion on that. And I can tell you this, though. When I watched gameplay of that game, the final boss, it's really intense than the fifth one. It's so intense, I, I feel like I'm ready to get those tensity going. Yeah, see, he's willing to go to play that one. All right, next game. Number 20 is... It's a tie between those two versions of one Civic game. Uh, I think musicals are already know the obvious again. So, I'll leave it up to you fast. But this is the only hint I'm going to give you. It has something to do with Sony's past and future. And well, let's just well, say, past and pleasant, I should say. I must just say, this is a one of those well-known, well, I wouldn't say well-known, but well-known Sony fan base's character series, uh, you could say. I'll give you three series just to help you out. Ratchet and Clank, Spiral, and Crash Bandicoot. Mm -hmm. Those are your three series. And if I have to, I'll throw in Jack and Dexter just as well. Let's just throw it in there. All right. So you have four get series to guess from. I'll give you ten seconds. Mm. Time's up. Tell them the last game for this spot, bud. This is going to be the one you get confused and go, huh? The one I got is between those ties. Ratchet and Clank, PlayStation 2 version, the first Ratchet and Clank ever, and the latest Ratchet and Clank, the PlayStation 4 version. Based off of the movie. In case you want, want to know, know if it's good, like most video game movies, it's garbage. Just wanted to say that real quick. We're talking about the movie, though. Yeah. The game, though, why don't you tell them the pros and the cons of each? I will. All right, for the for the moment for Ratchet and Clank, the PlayStation 4 version, I would say the weapons in that system was amazing. And uh, the the ones I feel like, for the ones I remember, there was actually several bosses in the game. It was kind of a little intense, but not so much intense as I thought to be. But I can tell you this, though, some of the puzzles you had to find were kind of a little tricky. Not puzzles, I mean, like, you get, like, one of those gold gold bolts, you know, if you want to try to complete 1%. Ah, I see. See, so those are the puzzles. What about the cons? Oh, uh, yeah, there, there's just more con more pros I remember from the first one. I'll go with the cons for a bit, because I already know uh, some pros at the top of my head for that one. Okay. And the cons? Hmm. Hmm. It's been a while. I, I'm trying to remember the, what a con about it, but I don't know, really. I see. Well, if you come up with a con later, let me know. I will. All right. For the PlayStation 4 version, I know you have your pros and cons for this. Okay. So let's go with the cons first. Let's say that one is kind of a little, a little shorter than the first one, but the final boss was not even as, e not even as hard as the first one. That's probably the third easiest boss defense face in terms of recent times. I thought that one's much more easier. Yeah. In case you're curious about the other two, you'll have to wait and see for another one of my videos. Hit, hit, wink, wink. Yep. Uh, but, yeah. So there's that one. And what's the other? What, oh, and uh, what's the pros for that game? Oh, the pro? I try to remember this time. The only thing that I know is... The pro is, you can actually jetpack a long time as you want, but as for the first first one, like, the way back then, doesn't do that. You can't even jet, like, all the air you want is this one. That's the d advantage of that one. And, of course, there's more than that. Some of there's a parts in there are kind of, like, familiar, familiar places that kind of like, kind of like Uvernus, or Uvernus, I think. That's Ratchet's home Home planet. I see. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, guys. That's all for this part. Uh, part. So, like I said, there's two more parts. This next, the next one will be video, but the last part to surprise you guys will only be an audio recording. Yep. 
So get ready for the shock of top number one. What do, what do you guys think it is? Let us know in the comments below. Yep. All right. This is yours truly, DJ Music Clues. Ethan, signing out. And happiness. Gaming day. <laughs>